everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing really well. I've got the most amazing plant haul for you today, over a hundred plants. Unfortunately, they're not going to be added into my own personal collection. They are going to be rehomed, although I have kept a few for myself. So if you've watched any of my recent videos, you'll know that I have actually teamed up with Plants and Paints and I'm actually now selling house plants. We are currently looking for a premises to keep the plants, but because of the lockdown, it's a bit difficult at the moment. So currently I'm actually using my office to stock the plants. I am extremely lucky to actually have this room free. So I'm just going to show you some of the beauties that I've got in here at the moment. Some of them are already sold and they've got reserve tags on. I did actually keep a few for myself, which I'll show you in a moment. It's really hard not to want to keep all of them. Look at that amazing melanochrysum leaf. Beautiful Vici eyes. Strawberry shakes. I would really like to add one of these plants into my collection. The cutest variegated billetai ever. I actually really wanted to keep this one for myself and it was quite tough to <laughs> sell it to be honest. It's just so perfect. I think that little guy will be going to Poland. So all the plants at the moment are currently growing in sphagnum moss. But if you are growing plants long term in sphagnum moss, I would recommend using the net baskets, um, net pots, sorry. I really like this guy. This is a forgetty eye. He's sold. <laughs> This is another plant I'd really like to add to my collection, Florida Beauty. Some beautiful sodoroids. But I must say, I am really, really drawn to the Queen of Hearts. Just look at that gorgeous leaf. I love how they come out this kind of bronzy, red colour and then as they mature they go darker green. I did actually keep one of these for myself, I'll show you mine in a moment. Over on this shelf we've got the Billetai and the Atabapuense crew. This Billetai is massive. And there's a baby next to him. I love the shape of these leaves. Quite like to add one of these to my collection as well. I would quite like to add them all to my collection, to be honest. Got some radicans. Pictum tricolours. Got some beautiful burly marxies. These white knights are absolutely massive. I do have one of these in my collection already, but mine isn't as big as these. So an update on some of my own plants. Look at my caladiums. They are massive. I can't believe how quickly they grow. It's insane. Look at this. I love it. I think this is one of my favorites at the moment. This is the Elise. Although this guy is pretty spectacular. We've 
still got a couple more growing in my bedroom. Kind of running out of room in here. <laughs> so this is the absolutely stunning Magnificum that I kept for myself. And I potted him up about maybe three days ago and he's already grown loads. It's crazy. This new leaf here was quite small and now it's quite a good size. Can't believe how fast they grow. He is quite close to my grow light up here and obviously sat right next to the humidifier as well so he's obviously loving the environment. This is another guy that I decided to keep for myself. Looking a little bit droopy, still acclimatizing. You'll be fine in a few days. And then the last plant that I kept for myself is this stunning Queen of Hearts. So this leaf looks like it's transitioning from the beautiful bronze color to the green. But I was really drawn to the shape of the leaf. And behind, you can see that my Melanochrysum leaf started to unfurl. I have been waiting weeks and weeks for this to happen but since putting it under the grow light it's grown like mad so it will definitely be staying here. I've turned all the grow lights and humidifiers off for this video otherwise it's a bit blinding. And then this is the beautiful radicans that I got for my birthday from Plants and Paints doing really well. Not fussy, which is great. Everyone looks happy. Because we've had such amazing weather here the past few weeks, it's been really, really warm in this room, so all the plants seem to be loving it. It was almost 27 degrees in here yesterday. It actually felt like I was on holiday or something. I also have plants on the other side of the room, but I'm not gonna show you all of them because it'll take forever. And I've got some acclimatizing in bags as well, the ones that love really, really high humidity. But I really, really hope you enjoyed my little tour. If you've got any questions, please ask. I'll obviously add my Instagram details below, which is where I post most of the photos of my personal plants and also the plants I've got for sale. Also, I'll attach Zaheer's Instagram, which is Plants and Paints, because if I don't have something in stock, he will probably have it. So between us, we've got quite a good collection. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I really hope you're doing well and you're not too bored. I've been keeping super busy tending to all the plants. I guess one benefit of having all the plants that I'm selling at home is that I'm here 24 hours a day to look after them. So I've been spending most of my day in this room tending to the plants. And to be honest, it's quite nice just sitting in here and staring at them all basically, just taking it all in. Feels like a proper jungle in here now, I love it. Thanks again for watching. Any questions, please leave them below. And I'll see you all soon in my next video. Take care everyone, bye.